Humanity was created in Africa, where black people rose and started living in small groups and societies. They started cooperating for the very first time. The world had never seen this happening before because all other species never really cooperated on such a scale. Then these black people migrated to different parts of the world, going to Asia and Europe. That's how other races were created, being part of the same species. However, various other races of humans became extinct, except for black people. That's due to their vulnerable genes, which could not save them from the harsh environment. However, it's different for black people. They preserve the fittest genes in their DNA, and that's why, no matter what disaster occurs, they will live forever. But how does this actually work? Is it true that black people have certain gifted, superior genes that other people lack? And does it mean that even if nature eliminates other races due to natural selection, black people will walk on this planet forever? Let's know about that in this video. The Black History Archives Imagine two men left deep within the unforgiving confines of a jungle. One of them possesses a genetic makeup finely tuned for jungle survival. It's because he inherited genes from a family tree that has survived almost every challenging condition. These genetic traits include a range of advantages. Equipped with robust genes, the man exhibits superior muscle mass, stamina, and endurance, enabling him to conquer rugged terrain, climb trees, and withstand the physical challenges crucial for survival in the wilderness. Enhanced agility, coordination, and reflexes equip him to navigate dense foliage, evade predators, and swiftly respond to imminent threats lurking within the jungle's shadows. His fortified immune system grants him heightened resilience against jungle-borne illnesses, parasites, and infections, reducing the risk of debilitating sicknesses that could hinder his ability to survive. Acute senses, including keen vision, hearing, and smell, provide him with early detection capabilities for potential hazards, aiding in the avoidance of predators and facilitating the location of vital resources essential for sustenance and survival. Fueled by a genetic predisposition for problem-solving, creativity, and adaptability, the first man can devise innovative solutions and adapt to the myriad challenges encountered in the jungle's harsh and unforgiving environment. Armed with these genetic advantages, the first man possesses the necessary tools to flourish amidst the jungle's formidable trials. He adeptly procures food through hunting or foraging, constructs shelter from natural materials and defends against predators using rudimentary tools or weapons. In stark contrast, the second man, lacking the robust genetic traits conducive to jungle survival, faces significant challenges. Inferior muscle mass, strength, and endurance impede his ability to cross rugged terrain, fend off predators, and perform physically demanding tasks crucial for survival. Limited agility, coordination, and reflexes hinder his ability to navigate dense foliage, evade threats, and maneuver swiftly within the jungle's complicated confines. Weakened immunity makes him more vulnerable to jungle-borne maladies, parasites, and infections, heightening the risk of illnesses that could hinder him. Consequently, the second man faces formidable trials in securing sustenance, finding shelter, and defending against predators in the jungle's unforgiving terrain. Lacking the genetic advantages enjoyed by the first man, his prospects for survival diminish significantly, increasing the likelihood of succumbing to the relentless challenges of the jungle environment. This might seem wrong, but that's how nature works, it's unfair and favors only those who are fittest to survive. And black people are the ones who have robust genes and the natural ability to withstand any challenge. The notion that black people possess genetic advantages finds support in multiple areas. Consider sprinting, for example, where Jim Hines, a black athlete, broke the 10-second barrier in 1968. Until 2003, only individuals of black descent had achieved this feat, and Patrick Johnson, an aboriginal from Australia, replicated it. Subsequent years continued to witness a dominance by black sprinters, underscoring a genetic predisposition towards exceptional speed and agility. Here's a reminder to please support us so we can make more videos for you by subscribing to our channel and giving the video a like. We want to build a strong community and we need your support. Let's continue now.
Similarly, in basketball, where over 70% of NBA players are black, the sport's demanding requirements likely align with the athletic and explosive attributes commonly associated with black individuals. American football, another arena of explosive athleticism, boasts most NFL players who identify as black. Notable figures in bodybuilding, such as Lee Haney, Ronnie Coleman, and Phil Heath, all of black descent, have achieved unparalleled success, highlighting the inherent physical prowess of black genetics. But that's not limited to physical strength. Black people also have unparalleled cognitive abilities that put them at the top of the pyramid. All the technology the world is enjoying today owes itself to the black people living in Africa thousands of years ago, even if it is wrongly cited that Mesopotamia was the first civilization. Anthropologists are now revealing that Africa had kingdoms that dated way before the rise of Mesopotamia. But what distinguishes black individuals genetically, enabling their excellence? Let's find out. Number 1. Genetic Diversity Africa, with its profound genetic diversity, hosts individuals with a plethora of genetic traits. Through generations of intermixing, African populations have cultivated a diverse range of dominant genes, resulting in a populace endowed with various advantageous traits. In other words, only people who were fittest among all survived and had children who preserved those genes. Because people have been living in Africa for hundreds of thousands of years, the continent has a longer history and hence, had more time for evolution and adaptation. Genes that were robust got more chances to evolve over every generation, resulting in black people inheriting them. Number 2. Natural Selection you should know that black Africans have ascended to prominence through natural selection, a process whereby the environment dictates which genes thrive. Picture two deer chased by a predator like a lion. The faster deer is more likely to evade capture and pass on its genes, while the slower one faces a grim outcome. This rigorous yet effective mechanism of natural selection has left a significant mark on the genetic diversity of African populations. In Africa, Natural selection has wielded considerable influence, particularly amidst challenges like the malaria epidemic that devastated West Africa. Malaria, a ruthless disease transmitted by mosquitoes, invaded red blood cells, triggering rapid multiplication. On average, West Africans display lower hemoglobin levels and a higher incidence of sickle cell trace and sickle cell anemia. While this may initially appear as a health concern, it actually confers a significant advantage against malaria. Individuals with these traits are more likely to survive and eternalize their genetic lineage, offering yet another example of natural selection at work. Moreover, these genetic attributes have influenced the types of muscle fibers present in black individuals. With lower hemoglobin and sickle cell traits, there is a diminished production of red blood cells leading to a higher proportion of fast-twitch muscle fibers that operate independently of oxygen. This distinctive characteristic underscores how natural selection has molded the genetic composition of black people, bolstering their ability for muscle development. Number 3. Power Gene, ACTN3 Genetics also holds considerable sway over athletic performance, exemplified by the Power Gene ACTN3. This gene generates alpha-actinin-3, a vital protein for generating power and force. The good version of this gene, referred to as the R allele, empowers individuals to produce significant power and force, while the bad version, the X allele, severely restricts this ability. Remarkably, nearly 99% of West Africans possess the good version of the gene bestowing upon them a competitive edge in power and force production compared to other populations. This genetic advantage underscores how genetic variations contribute to athletic prowess and further accentuates the impact of natural selection on shaping human populations. In 2000, a groundbreaking report rocked the global sports community. Scandinavian researchers conducted an extensive study comparing the biological differences between African and European athletes focusing specifically on runners from Kenya and Denmark. Their findings confirmed a long-standing suspicion. Many Africans exhibit superior stamina and speed compared to their European counterparts. This study reignited the ongoing discussion surrounding biological advantages in track and field, 
stirring controversy among athletes and scientists. Danish sports scientists embarked on an 18-month investigation in Eldoret, Kenya, the epicenter of the Kalenjin tribe known for producing exceptional distance runners. The study meticulously scrutinized the physiology and running techniques of Kenyan athletes, revealing notable differences compared to their Danish counterparts. African athletes demonstrated remarkably low heart rates, even during high-speed, long-distance runs, partly attributed to the high-altitude environment of the Kalenjin, which fosters increased red blood cell production, thereby enhancing oxygen delivery. Researchers pinpointed distinctive physical attributes in African athletes, including slender, bird-like legs and a bouncing running style, in stark contrast to the sturdier, more grounded stride of the Danish runners. These observations led to the conclusion that Kenyan runners possessed a unique biomechanical advantage, enabling them to maintain speed and efficiency over extended distances. Number 4. Myostatin Myostatin is a protein hormone produced by our muscles that regulates the growth and development of skeletal muscles. However, myostatin isn't always helpful for those aiming to build muscle, as it acts as a negative regulator by inhibiting AKT enzyme activity, a protein crucial for muscle growth and protein synthesis. Consequently, bodybuilders strive to lower myostatin levels. Interestingly, individuals of black descent often carry mutations in their myostatin genes, resulting in reduced myostatin production. This genetic difference can lead to muscle hypertrophy, enhancing their ability to develop and maintain significant, robust muscles. Research indicates a higher occurrence of myostatin mutations among individuals of sub-Saharan African descent potentially explaining the exceptional muscular development and strength seen in numerous elite athletes from this region. Number 5. Androgen Receptors Androgen receptors play a vital role in muscle growth, activated by androgen hormones like testosterone, which are essential for muscle development and the development of secondary sexual characteristics. Intriguingly, studies suggest that individuals of African descent typically exhibit heightened sensitivity in their androgen receptors compared to other populations. This increased sensitivity facilitates quicker and more straightforward muscle growth. While advantageous for muscle mass development, this heightened sensitivity also raises the risk of certain health conditions, such as prostate cancer. What do you think? Do black people have robust genes that help them stay on the top? Doesn't black people's presence everywhere in the world prove that black genes are dominant? In the comments section right below, share your thoughts on black genes and black people's ability to fight natural disasters like pandemics. Would you like us to make more videos? If yes, please support us by subscribing to the Black History Archives and clicking the bell icon. You can check out more videos on our channel too.